Everything you are experiencing is in Ghana yeah. on a scale of 10. I will give Ghana. Some days ago, I reached out to a Pan African brother via TikTok. He's also like doing very well on TikTok by raising awareness about things going on in Africa politically. I was impressed by his channel and decided like to reach out to him so we can meet up and talk about politics, talk about how we can create more awareness together into like bringing um, African youth in politics and also like making sure we can shape the future of Africa politically. We had lunch at Accra Mall. It was really a great time. We discussed about many things, many um, issues also like how uh, we are facing here in Africa. But afterwards, he decided to take me around Accra for me to get to know more about Accra and also like get to experience the beach culture here in Accra. We went to Labade Beach. We really had fun. And as we are hanging out, he was curious for me to really share with him my personal view about Accra or Ghana generally. And yes, I shared with him. And at the same time, I don't think I should just share with him my experience but also like share with you guys so yeah let's jump right into it but please don't take anything personal here that was just me believing there is still a space for Ghana or Africa as a whole to grow so if it's your first time here um, you're welcome to my channel um, this is a channel we talk about politics travel and also history my name is Ken I'm Sierra Donia, history and politics student and an African traveler and expert all right, guys, we are in to have fun uh, at Labadi Beach. At Labadi Beach. It, it's going to be a very interesting um, story. Yeah, by the way, the meeting we had was really great. Uh, he's a very smart guy, so check out his channel and also like to learn from him. Yeah. Also, like, Pan Africanism. Um, after the meeting, we also decided to go and have, um, catch some fun at Labadi. So, we are up to Labadi now. Yeah, sure. Catch us at Labadi. <laughs> and, 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 and don't worry, I'll fill you in. You know me, I'll fill you in. I won't let you get lost along the line. I won't you will get every G's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. For someone a little bit um, cozy, a little bit calm, because here the music is very loud here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can hear the music from afar. <laughs> and I it going on. Really? LAPC. Yo, 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 yo. yo. <laughs> DJ, DJ Dirty Day, so you don't okay, know. Okay, Are you okay. DJ? Yeah, man, I'm a DJ, a bad selector. Okay. This is DJ Dory, live in LA Beach with my new friends, taking it down low. Yeah. So good, man. Yo, 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 yo. I feel that. I appreciate it, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> we are out for now. Yes. Which which of the country is your uh, your best experience? Kenya. I love Kenya. Like Kenya is still like holding a place in my heart. Like I mean, all the countries are really great. There are also like challenges there, but Kenya still remains as my number one country. Like yeah, that I love. <laughs> Sorry, Ghana. But I love Ghana too. No, no. <laughs> No, no, yeah. So, so, is it what makes Kenya so interesting? Is it because you, I mean, you've gotten some beef around or like so? so? Um, or, so, okay, here's the thing, yeah. Before, oh, you've gotten your lover there because the way you took the uh, time to, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a plus actually. <laughs> then, then, but, but, but the thing is, eh, before I, I really like started my journey, Kenya was like uh, number one on my list. That's why I even started with Kenya, you know. Doing my, like my homework, like doing the research of places like, to visit and all of that. Kenya was like really like giving it, and I visited. It is exactly what I research. You know what I mean? The technology, like the flexibility, you know, the people. Like in Kenya, it's very easy. Go and shopping, use your card to pay. The internet there is very fast. You know, yeah. transportation also. The infrastructure, really, the life, the weather as well. You know, like if you if you have spent like long time in um, um, Europe, I don't want to say you get used to the code because code is something you don't get used to. But to some point, you you start adapting. You get what I mean? And like you moving from that um, um, country now to Africa, so Kenya is the best place to start with. Yeah, the weather is very good. Wow. Yeah. So, rating Ghana. 
on the scale of your experience in Ghana, on the scale of anything uh, yeah. let, me, let, let me swallow my. Yeah, do it. Before. So, rating your, your rating your experience in Ghana yeah. on the scale of ten. I will give Ghana seven. Hey. Brother. I mean, <laughs> why? I mean, why I will give Ghana seven? I mean, Kenya, I will give Kenya eight. I mean, I've said all those good things about Kenya, but that does not make them actually ten. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will give, I will give Ghana plus. I'm politician and political science student because I still will not give any African country a 10 when we still have these political struggles going on in Africa, you know, in terms of like uh, uh, transportation, like, you know, the job markets, you know, uh, you know the, the structure. Uh, yeah, and why actually I would give Kenya um, eight and give Ghana seven is how like Ghana really plan that, that things here. For example, you go to a Western Union to pick up money or something, they will tell you you need to have Ghana card, which is which is very okay. Yeah, you need to have like ID to put that uh, whatever. They also have like this uh, Ghana card for foreigners. So here's the thing, yeah. If they know like uh, it's, it's like the, the Lord one needs to like have a uh, uh, Ghana card for you to pick up money, it should be like like, like a general uh, law. But you go to some places, they will tell you, uh, we need Ghana card. You go to another place again, they, they don't need Ghana card. They need your passport. You have to sit down and wait for verification. Or it's kind of like it's not. They don't have like one rule that serves the state. You know what I mean? Everybody like it's like everybody, everybody is on, uh, on their own. And you also get there. I know uh, everybody like is proud of being uh, uh, of where they are from. Yeah. Ghanaians are proud of being Ghanaian. Sure. But I think we should not be like giving that energy to our, our fellow Africans. You know what I mean? For example, you, you go to Western Union to cash out, uh, cash out money because but when you have like this um, Equus passport or something, they, they have like this view they give you. You know. I bet they will not give the same treatment if a white man was not at the bank or not having the same Yeah, so um, I think that's the other thing I, I think I'm struggling with um, in Ghana. The, the bureaucracy, the, 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 the laws and everything. But however, Ghana is really good. I see people like give their review of like, oh, you should visit Ghana in December. But well, I think this is the right time of visiting Ghana because I like this kind of quiet noise, you know. Explore, like you get to know the country for what really the country is, not just like when everyone is in. But the same is it's, it's, it's like um, crazy. Everyone, everyone is there, is yeah. living life, like doing all sort of things. But I like it now in Ghana, and I would prefer it now in Ghana to December. Yeah. Another thing I don't like uh, also about Ghana, so I'm giving my honest opinion actually. It's the fact that they have like certain places like you won't have to live. For example, if you are struggling to restaurant, good food or whatever, like, oh, they'll be like, you are living in the wrong place. You have to go to East Lagos, for example. I'm like, why do I have to go to East Lagos to have food? Like all the best restaurants or whatsoever. There should be like that kind of um, flexibility. Also, also in Tema. I mean, Tema is one of like the, if not the most industrial um, um, place in, in Ghana. You know what I mean? So they, they should also have like the best places there, you know, not just in East Lagos. You know what I mean? And East Lagos is even I think it's overpriced also like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Me, so I don't understand yeah. Yeah. yeah actually in my I don't understand what is there in East Lagoon actually yeah because I, it, it, I was it, also it, asking the same question yeah because yeah. when you go to East Lagoon it is no something really that yeah. is, I don't know what's there you know I yeah. always ask that question why is Lagoon when you mention East Lagoon it, it rings bell in the eyes of in yeah. the ears of Ghanaians and I, I don't understand yeah yeah, I, yeah. I, I also don't understand I, I'm not Ghanaian but I also I still don't get the fact. I mean, I also stayed there for almost a week and I still didn't, didn't get it, like, what is all the hype actually about this level. I know they are more, like, more modernized, like, it's also like, if you are moving from um, Europe or if you are moving from America or whatever, like, it's, like, it's the best place to start, so you don't have, like, uh, enough of cultural shock, because there are a lot of negative things. But still, I think, I mean, we are Africans, because, like, uh, be, um, be, be modern and develop in all areas, not just, like, in one area. But this is just, like, uh, it's, like, bringing distinction, like, you know, uh, um, classism and all these kind of things, yeah. yeah.
that, that, that's really so on, on, on the basis of corruption in Ghana, mm -hmm. if you are to rate Ghana on the uh, uh, scale of 10, in terms of cor corruption? Um, corruption, uh, I think you should be the one to give me that um, review on corruption because you are, you are living in Ghana. Uh, because you have your is, that, uh, because I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, a I'm into politics actually. I mean, I've already told you like, the constraints, like the struggles here I'm facing in Ghana. Um, yeah, but Ghana is not different from other African countries when it comes to corruption. And like I always like to say in my videos or in my reviews, Ghana should really stop this uh, uh, partisanship. Like they are so partisan, you get what I mean? They should, they should practice more of the nationalism, you get? I mean, we are talking about uh, Ghana, like we are like uh, um, people that really like the great Africa. We are talking about Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, you know, like the, the, the modern founder of Ghana. Like, the, I can even say one of the fathers of Pan-Africanism. Pan Pan yeah, sure. You know, Du Bois also like found home here. He died here, for example. It's 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 really. Uh, I don't want to say it's shame, but it's really um, pathetic that, you know... It's not only really shame. Yeah, Ghana, yeah, yeah. Ghana, Ghana is still struggling, like, you know, uh, with this um, neo-colonialism. But these are, like, things like Kwame Kuma, like, you know, talk about, he even wrote. It's even, like, I've been looking for a book uh, written by um, Kwame Kuma, Neo-Colonialism, The Last Stage of Imperialism. And guess what? That book, I can even say, has gone extinct. I've been searching for that book almost three months here in Ghana. I, I left Ghana, went, came back, still am a sort of that book. So you see, I think they are more focusing on like party, my party or party instead of really practicing nationalism and taking the full step of um, um, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Even like especially the current party, for example, they don't want to like really embrace all the ideas of Dr. Nkrumah and all these kind of things. So um, like I said, about corruption, yeah, I mean Ghana is not just different from other African countries. They also have to do more, you know. Yeah. If you ask me to rate Ghana on the <coughs> scale of 10 in terms of corruption, yeah. I'll tell you we are the best. Okay, we are the best in corruption. <laughs> I tell you. Ah, okay. And and you know when we are talking about the book of uh, coming the, the book of coming from uh, yeah. the neo colonialism, yeah. the last stage of yeah. Uh, yeah. realism. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for making it to this point in my video. If you have not subscribed yet, I would really appreciate you do now and also like this video as I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Once again, thanks and peace out.